it is a gram if you are doing it what Get up here. Get up here. One. 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 Yeah. 
three different mechanisms are present. It is called PTM system. PTM system. He 
ये मैंने तो
Will you start? Injury, problem is involved in the 
by this equation and the eight will of the given. If you do not have the left side by the next equation and this particular model A, that particular A and the name gradually adds to the actual process. That we can call it as A vascular decomposes of the human name and A. What happens if you have that in an individual like this in the next region that stimulates the blood vessels, it leaves the blood vessels off. If you take this picture or you can see the exponential picture on the right side, that means there is a name fracture. You can see the fall of the head of the female and the name region is fractured and fractured. Then if you take a repeat MRI after one year or so, you won't see any pain of the neck on that individual because that particular pain and pain with the time gets absorbed. That particular pain is being called as a vascular necrosis of femur head and neck. That's called a clinical pain related to this next femur fracture. A vascular necrosis of it happens all the way in practice in the next week. In fact, it does seem hard, why it happens? It happens because it disrupts the blood flow to this neck and this particular neck region, following this particular neck fracture. And that leads to this avascular neck or a loose of this particular neck and neck. Okay, this is one entity. Now, what are the blood supply which is involving or what are the blood supply and the blood blood that is present around this particular neck region or around this region? We have an enhancement that are on the propria, which is known as propitory enhancement. They are contributed by four different blood vessels. You can see the medial circum femoral artery, lateral circum femoral artery. These two are coming from the deep femoral artery, the artery. So this particular inserting band that you can see in this particular picture, the deep artery, you can see this is the artery from the femoral, right? And this is the femoral artery, which is the complex or inserting the neck. Medial and the lateral are complex femoral artery inserting this neck. This is the moving artery, which is applied to the neck region, head region of this. Allowing that, and the branches of superior nuclear and nuclear nuclear. So they are coming from bottom and below and taking this particular adjustment and then stopping to make adjustment. This is the sum of this. Provides the blood supply to the neck of the femur and as well as the head of the femur. Now from here, from these blood vessels, we have the architectural blood vessels that runs to the capsule of the hip joint and goes to the blood of the neck and the head of the femur. Those architectural blood vessels fall in this great hip and the brain. Those very difficult branches, they are very high. So this very difficult branches, this is the tiny branches of spring, or coming from those protein brain and stomach. And supplying this particular region. So one this particular protein brain, protein brain blood vessels, which is known as the very popular branches, they are built off, they cannot be built over the back. They cannot just like a real person. Once gone, it's gone. And that's why once this blood vessels rip off, you have to move those blood supply to the neck and the head of the femur, and that's not correct. Okay, so eventually you lose the head and the head of the femur because of the air that's going to make it. Because the normal blood supply is there, this particular head and the neck melts. Now, out of these four branches, if you have to be more on the normal protein artery branch, maximum market to supply to this neck and the neck region. Now, out of this four, which is contributing to the pocket brain hypersomosis, the artery, if you have a tumor, if you remember, which is supplying the neck and the head of the tumor, which is medial circumflex and all that, that particular artery is taking the form to supply this particular neck and this particular head region. Okay, there. That's why I'm going to say that we are right now. This involves the critical clinical pain symptoms in the following region. And this involves this hiding region, for example, in the views of theory or practical effect. So suppose we have elderly female who has this particular 
on the gate, the knee joint, there are two things that are particular about the knee joint, about this particular alignment of the knee joint. It is very highly fine and actually present in this particular knee joint region, called as the angle of the cube. So this particular angle of the cube was two angles, so this is constant. Now how to measure this angle of the cube was two angles. So we draw a line from A is my case to the pattern. We find an A sizes, we have an A sizes here, and then we do the hand up, we draw in this particular line here. And we, we draw a straight horizontal line, piercing to the middle of the pattern. The two lines insert, intersect at the point, and we find an angle here. That particular angle is present here, this particular, that particular line, A sizes to the pattern, and this particular in line of this particular pattern, we find an angle here. Or I can do. It has to be less than 70 in order to do it. It is not individual as a 50 degree angle, which is present in this particular angle. If the angle of the cube is more, we have a disease of the knee joint. If the angle of the cube is less, we have a disease of the knee joint. So what is that? We have more angle of the cube, or that angle is the office. Leg is there. Large cube angle. We have a disease of the knee joint because there is a gym that is done. When we have the lateral amputation, we have the lateral amputation on the knee joint, which is why for this individual who has a lateral deviation of the leg. So that is known by the tail by the tail, which is lateral deviation of the leg of the knee joint in the gym that is done. Now, in front of that, if you have a test, this less move, you have the whole leg area. We call them as getting better. So in getting better, this is not a thing. You have to be here. You have the going of this particular leg. So, which is the going of this particular leg, which is bending the target. So this particular thing, which is the medial position or medial position, which is which is happening in this particular leg. So, getting up and the getting better, which are the two angles, less angle and the more angle. That we knew about this knee joint that we're going to tell you that the thing is the joint which is working with the knee joint, that is not the better, which is a lateral angle from the medial angle is from the knee joint. So, for me, I'm going to talk about this dislocation of the patella, which happens. The patella, by itself, normally, if it is dislocated, if it is discharged, it moves to the lateral gradient. What happens? This particular patella is treated with. Quarters of tendon, right? Now within this quarters of tendon, we usually have a very strong vascular medial responsibility. That particular vascular medial is usually in this particular pattern in this. If we have a weak vascular medial muscle, so that the weak nerve supply or weak muscle supply, this particular thing can be lost and move straight out of the lateral side. That is the pattern we call it as pattern of the which is commonly or most of the time. So, pendulum is okay. Coming to this particular thing, which, which is this particular joint we call, which is the compact part of this knee joint. So, in this case, we have a very strong vascular medial muscle. Now, the vascular medial muscle is the one that 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 is and the pupillar collateral ligament. All of these medial collateral ligament or medial collateral ligament and the pupillar collateral ligament is lateral collateral ligament. Which one is the strongest? No, the lateral one is the strongest. So the lateral collateral ligament, which is pupillar collateral ligament, is very strong. Alright? Now, you remember the two ministers, right? So there are two ministers, medial ministers and the lateral ministers, right? So, this medial meniscus is attached or anchored to the fibers of the medial collateral ligament, whereas the lateral meniscus is free from this pupillar collateral ligament. So, 
remember back about the anatomy of this particular joint, about the meniscus, and this correlation of this lateral collateral and medial collateral. You will just find it that the medial collateral ligament has an attachment to the medial meniscus. Right? Now you will look, look at here and understand what might happen to here. This kind of thing we will have, this kind of thing we have. Around this particular practice, that's what 
o vinho mineral, pela estrutura do vinho. Ok? Good? And here you are at this, or here you are at this. And this thing of ministers, legal rotation, legal ministers, that rotation, that rotation. Easy? Okay. Easy job. Which may be small, some of the agreements, which is started with so many, so many. And 
But this is the problem. This is the problem. This uh, point to choose the part. Now, related to this particular thing which you are talking here, or you are saying this printable perfect. So you do not have any idea about printable perfect, right? That's why it's not an affected 
of the remedy is the qualitative part of the new are not able to do that. And a qualitative test should work to identify a substance as a sample symbol. In quantitative, we are going to measure the quantity of a substance. It is called quantitative one. Okay. So our practical way of this is really divided into qualitative and quantitative. But now, according to the report after 2019, you know how quantitative test is divided. That means you have to perform only quantitative test. In some methods, B, O, A, T. This is simply for activity. For me, I have to go for demonstrate the practical part. You will observe assessment and if you are able to perform, then there is performance of it. So, in the performance, you have to practice. The first one is beauty analysis. And second one is quantitative estimation. Quantitative estimation. Quantitative estimation for what? For urea, creatine, some metabolites, uric acid, and blood glucose. So you have to perform all these tests and uh, interpret the values. This is the divide them in this table. I demonstrate, I have demonstrated the instrumentation, several instrumentation like photography, ELISA, like the uh, color meter, like the pH meter, and most of the instrument, some of the some of the tests. And observation means you have to observe the value and give the assessment. Make the clinical interpretation of the value. I will give some of the interpretation of the part so you will learn this. Okay? So today we are going to discuss the discuss the topic. Preparation of knockout and estimation of speech. Preparation of knockout and estimation of speech. We estimate the pH, we estimate the solution by basically two methods, two major methods. First one is by using paper, or it is called litmus paper. And second one is by using What is the pH stand for? Potentials of hydrogen. Yeah. Potentials of hydrogen. So now, we will first of all, we will make an addict preparation of water. Preparation of water.
and add the reagent and add the reagent
फ्लैश कमेंट किए ट्विटर इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कंबाइंड इलेक्ट्रोड एंड एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेजरिंग एंड एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेजरिंग एंड डिस्प्ले डिवाइस इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज बिटवीन द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कंबाइंड इलेक्ट्रोड एंड एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेजरिंग एंड डिस्प्ले डिवाइस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेजरिंग एंड डिस्प्ले डिवाइस they usually incorporate they usually incorporate a temperature corrections also they usually incorporate a temperature corrections also when this is our ps meter This is a PS meter. This is a digital PS meter. Okay. This is electronic PS meter with digital display. Okay. Have you seen before? Yes. 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 How do you do? Yes. 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 Solution. The first pH is 4.0. Second pH is 
This is our work combined reactor. This is glass level reactor, but it is combined reactor. Okay? So, and we have also tissue paper. Okay? Tissue paper is very good. If we connect this network from this row. Okay? And this is your glass electrode. You never, uh, never leave this electrode in such conditions. You always dip this electrode in a solution. This is the first mandatory thing. Okay? Now, first of all, what first of all you have to set this loop to pH. pH. Okay? This is our glass electrode. the parts, mention the name of this wire and the content. This is your number. So the next step is what? You have to dip the solution in standard solution first. You will get 4.0 solution and dip it. Here some of the readings are comes like 4.8, 5.8, 6.8. Okay. From this, first of all, you will calibrate this. Calibrate, calibrate this. Uh, by the slope, no, we have to select the pH and come fish to the range to 4.0 by maintaining the temperature also. So the temperature fluctuates the pH. So protocol for monitoring the pH meter. You have to write step by step process by making error. Standard protocol you have to see the left, it is maybe one step first, then you will make error. So step second, you can take no chapter. First of all, write down the first step. Start the instrument. I'm putting PSP cable in an electronic board. I'm putting PSP cable in an electronic board. Now, Second step. What I Note the room temperature. Note the room temperature. Note the room temperature. And adjust the temperature direction in word. And adjust the temperature if required. I mean, temperature is not reading on here. Temperature is not showing in the distribution. By, by using low, you have to select the temperature. Now, the step right, step right. Take the step right. Take standard buffer. Take standard buffer. I will call it standard buffer. You know well. What is the meaning of standard buffer? Okay. See, take standard buffer of 7. Standard buffer of 7, 4, 7, 4 pH in 250 ml beaker. In 250 ml beaker. Now the step third. Calibrate the instrument. 
calibrate the instrument calibrate the instrument with standard buffer solution calibrate the instrument with standard buffer solution first calibrate the pf7 buffer Calibrate the buffer PS4 plus. Calibrate the PS7 buffer. Then calibrate the buffer PS4. Then calibrate the buffer PS4. Buffer calibrate. For calibrating, carefully lift the electrode. Carefully lift the electrode of the instrument. Carefully lift the electrode of the instrument. And wipe its tip. And wipe its tip. Gently with a soft tissue. Wipe it, it gently with a soft tissue. The soft tissue paper, soft tissue paper to remove the excess water. To remove the excess water. Water. Axis water. 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 Adjust the instrument with coarse and fine adjustment. With coarse and fine adjustment. To show pH value 7 on the instrument. To show pH value 7 on the instrument. Allow the instrument to read the pH value. 
I love the student to read the PS value and note it when the reading is stable. And note it when the reading is stable. Reading is stable means if there is no fluctuation in the reading, you will take the reading in this figure final value. Next step is our next step is our remove the electrode, remove the electrode and dip it in the water. Remove the electrode and dip it in the water. वाटर और बिस्किट वाले का दिया ठीक है तू बोल इसके बाद वाटर ही दिया तू उस टाइम का एक्सपेरिमेंट करेंगे उस टाइम का एक्सपेरिमेंट करेंगे और डी लास्ट वन इस तो चौथा एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड यू वन यू वन तो चौथा एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड यू वन यू वन एंड यू वन और इस पर नंबर दो आया था this is the standard code of work, so I'll take it to the next one. And you can have a result. This is the manual catalog of the handbook. This is the handbook. Now, let me tell you about the handbook. 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 पहले इसको कनेक्ट करना पड़ेगा। आई टू स्पीक नहीं। फर्स्ट आई टू कनेक्ट दिस प्लग इन द पावर सोर्स एंड देन दिस दिस ऑफ द दिस लास्ट इलेक्ट्रोड पार्ट वो कनेक्ट इसको द दिस इलेक्ट्रोड पार्ट वो जब यू कनेक्ट इट एंड इट जस्ट रिलेटेड टू लॉग इन एंड आफ्टर दैट यू टू टू लॉग एंड यू यू टू रिमूव � we have to take two standard solutions. Two standard solutions, one is acetic buffer and one is neutral buffer. We have to take it, first we have to take acetic buffer and we have to take this glass electrode and we have to dip it in this one. Then we have to put this functional function of this functional knob in the PA and first we have to take the temperatures, make the temperature constant. Constant in the room temperature. Then we have to adjust this in the slope and after the slope to uh, the pH actually and then we have to calibrate it. And uh, we will get the result over here about uh, which is 4 pH, 4, uh, pH 4. Then we have to do the same thing along with, uh, with that of the uh, neutral buffer. And then see, uh, we have to take it out, wipe it with the tissue paper and put the unknown solution and with this electrode in that unknown solution we will get the Actual case because the original potential has been created uh, between 4 and 7, so we will get the pH of the other solution. Okay, nice. Next one, guys. Next one, there is. What's the job? What's the job? We have three options in this instrument. Spider. Point goes is what? Point goes is slow. Slow. Okay. We have to select a point goes to this one. By using point goes slow. Yes, sir. And then you should. Yes, sir. This is slow slow is point goes at this point. Okay. We have to control the fluctuation of the connection. Okay. And we use. By this group, we get it, we have to go to the other group and we stand by the using the instrument for the standard group and by the PM, we get the PM of the group. So, the first thing is the problem that we have to do is the problem that we have to do is the problem that we have to do. 
a passive, this is a B figure, and this is a passive. First of all, you have to find this not to this main part of it. Then, this is uh, the electric part. We have to find this, with, and we have to find this in the part here. But we have to tie it by producing the right. Then, in this, we will be taking two solutions. One is acidic, and the other one is neutral. Acidic uh, support and neutral is set. Then, we have to adjust this to be First of all, this functional norm, we have to adjust it to the pH, then calibrate it, and uh, then we have to set it to the temperature, suppose in room temperature, and then we have to set the slope for the uh, to take the pH. When we, uh, in case of acidity, first we have to take the solution here and heat this glass electrode in this uh, in this in this solution. Then, uh, then the relief will come between the uh, pH, uh, acidic pH. Then same way, we have to for then remove it and wipe it and wipe it gently with the soft tissue paper. Then again with the neutral solution. We have to then with the remove with the same with the neutral solution. Then we we'll get the pH of the neutral solution. And uh, due to the potential between these two acidic and neutral, we we'll get the amine. Sir, I have a question that uh, whether we should uh, go neutral first or the acidic first. Set this machine to the 
then root reference. By using this, you know, by the adjustment, you will fix the temperature at temperature. Now, the second step is what? Now, by using this functional load attached to the third step is what? Now, what is the second step? The third step.